So first thing you have to do is import your tracks from your GPS device into Google Earth. Uh, you will use extra GPS. Select your system and then just hit import. But I already did this, so I'm gonna go straight here. Uh, we have a Garmin GPS system. Uh, you're gonna open this. You're gonna find tracks. You're gonna proceed and you'll find your tracks right here. You'll choose the track you wanna edit. Save this. And now it's really important that you save this file as kml.kml that's really important so but I already did this too right here this is my kml file I'm gonna use so I'm gonna drag this into Google Earth I'm gonna open this it's called YouTube okay so this is my trick so what we can do now is we can trim uh, this this track from both sides. We can split it up, or we can merge it with another track. But I'm just gonna show you how you can split the track, and after this you will understand how you can merge or trim. Um, it's 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 uh, the same and uh, the same method. Okay, so um, what you will do? So we locate our KML file and we're gonna open this with a um, with a text editor and I like to choose Notepad++ right here why Notepad++? well it's important that you have a selection of line numbers so if I do this you want to see like 21 right here you want to know how much lines you selected okay so um, we're gonna close this again for one second and we're gonna because we're gonna split this up we're gonna duplicate this file I'm gonna call this um, part 1 I'm gonna call this part 2 Okay, we're gonna open both files in our text editor. Okay, so now um, also we it's best to change the name here um, because otherwise uh, Google Earth will show you two times YouTube.kml. Okay, so we're gonna go down right here and we'll see um, a lot of dates and timestamps. So these are the timestamps of your GPS track and these are the coordinates. So maybe it's already clear to you what we're gonna do, but uh, we're just gonna delete the portion and in this file and delete this the other portion, the remaining portion in the other file. Uh, how do we know which portion we need to delete? Well, we go back to Google Earth and we take the slider right here. So let's say we want to split it up in the corner right here. Okay. We use our slider. We see it's located at 184553. Okay, now we go back to our text file, but it says here 16, and it says here 18. Well, this is, this is pretty strange, and I don't know why, but I think Google Earth is somehow converting these times into uh, your local time, maybe. Um, anyway, you'll notice it's different, just, you know, you need to, you'll need to add two hours here, in my case. Okay, so just uh, it was 1845.53. So 45.53. So we want to split it uh, here or here. 
doesn't really matter for me. Um, let's say, um, yes, we're gonna take this as the first part. So that this means we're gonna delete these lines. So I've selected them and I can check here, I've selected nine lines. Hit delete. And I go to coordinates and do the same. I select nine lines and I delete. Now I go to the other file and because we've deleted the last nine lines here, we're gonna select the others, which are 24 lines right here. Same thing with the coordinates. 24 lines. Okay, so now we save the files. Um, I'm gonna turn this off for one moment. Now we're gonna import our new files in Google Earth. Um, and the other one. So right now we have two files. We have our part one, and we have our part two. That's very neat, right? Well, and now I think it's easy to understand if you want to trim your files. Um, your, your GPS tracks, it's actually just what we did, but, but without duplicating the file first. Um, if you want to merge uh, your GPS track with another GPS track, well, that's very easy also. Uh, I can just show you. Just copy from one file, add them right here. And copy your coordinates and add them right here. Like this. Save it, open it in Google Earth, and you're ready. So it's not difficult. Um, it's kind of a workaround, and it's not real. Uh, it's not a real quick way, but once you get the hang of it, uh, I assure you, it's it's. It's not such a problem. So I hope uh, this this helped you out. Uh, if this helped you out, please um, I appreciate a like, uh, a comment, and if you have any questions, uh, please ask. Uh, so have a good day. Bye.